what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm excited to do my first review i guess uh, what's in the bag is somewhat of a review however i did just receive my first ever cobra putter they just came out with the vintage series and i'm a big mallet kind of girl so the cobra vintage series putter that i have is the agira model and this is what it generally looks like kind of looks like a transformer similar to a spider putter and I chose this one because it's, in my opinion, the closest to my current, well, technically old putter, but I'll say current putter, which is the Even Roll ER6, which is what you see right here. And I had it, I had it blacked out. And I also have the gravity grip on here. Now, I think that, firstly, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that although I am partnered with Cobra, I have no contract in terms of putters. And so everything that I'm saying in this in this review and in this vlog is like my honest opinion. And just just so that if you guys see that in my vlogs, I have been incorporating the new Cobra Agira putter. And I would never put any putter into my bag that I did not believe in no matter how much someone pays me. I'm a big putter snob. I played with a gear and putter for seven years of my career that lasted from a little before college all through my professional career and then I switched to the even roll because I wanted to be sure to get a Gearin made putter since Gearin created even roll and so I'm gonna break everything down for you guys right now on how I truly feel about the new Cobra putter and compare both the Cobra putter and the even roll mallet finish here we go let's get started All right, you guys, so let's get started. We're gonna start down to the head cover and just like the basics of each putter. So the Even Roll ER6 is no longer on the actual Even Roll website. I think it's a bit outdated now. This is two years old. I got it in 2019, I believe. And this is what the overall head cover looks like. Their theme is black and red, very sleek. I love that all black look. This matches kind of like my logo, the, you know, the Tisha All In and whatnot, which is also why I got it. And then the putter, as I mentioned in the intro, is the gravity grip. And here in this grip, you have the option of not using this even roll grip when you get an even roll putter, but it actually has like a weight on that bottom side, which is why it's why or it's it's thicker than it is. How do I say this? It's it goes deeper than it is this way. Okay, you see, you catch my drift. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, and I feel like it's really easy to just go into that prayer grip. I have a traditional style putting grip. Um, I don't do anything crazy. I did do cross-handed at one point, but went back to traditional. Now I wanna show you guys the Cobra head cover and just the overall putter from the outside. This is a little more futuristic, uh, not so traditional in terms of color scheme. They have the turbo yellow on this. They have five different putters for the vintage series. I actually have never tried the other putters and or seen them in person. I wanted to go with the most sophisticated mallet. And so this is what I have. And on the outside, it does say sick face technology and sick as an S-I-K, not sick as an, oh, that's sick. Um, and so that's the overall head cover. It's quite large, much larger than the other one, a big square. And then for the grip, they actually attach the Arcos technology to it, which adds a little bit of length to it. And it gives you an option of, I think, a, a skinnier grip or a wide grip. And I went with the mid-size grip. And this is quite similar, a little bit wider than my even roll right here. But again, I've always been a fat so grip kind of girl. I don't like that really, really skinny kind of vibe that like Scotty Cameron's put out. I used to play a Scotty actually uh, back in the day and I had to put it away. I just feel like it didn't fit my hands well and fit my eye well. So that's basically the overall outside of the parter, including the head cover. Okay. Now taking off the head covers here, let's actually get to the design of the putters. As I said, they are both mallet putters. Again, this is the even roll ER6. This is the Cobra Agira mallet head. And this is what they look like. So I clearly like that black and silver look. This is the underside. These are the faces. Front face. Backside. One more time for the underside. There it is. So it depends on kind of like what your style is, but 
I've always been a very, very heavy hand. I always wanted a heavy putter. And so my ER6, I don't know the actual swing weight right now, but it's in the heaviest option that you can get. And I, so going off the swing weights, so I wish I could tell you the swing weights, the exact swing weights of both of them, but I will tell you that the ER6, I got this one in the heaviest option that I can get. It is significantly heavier than the Cobra Agira. This is just a, this was not fitted for me. This is just a, a off the rack putter and this one was fitted for me. They are both 34 inches, they're shorter, they're on the heavier side. And I feel like this, this putter is definitely heavier also because of the gravity grip, because there's weight up here. They needed to um, make sure that the head was even heavier, a lot heavier so that I could feel it the whole way through. And so that is a little bit about the weight. So on top of that, in terms of, uh, besides weight, we'll talk about the balance of the putter. So both putters are indeed face balance putters. If you guys don't know what face balance is, it's exactly what you see. The, whenever you're balancing the putter naturally, the face is pointing up and you, there are putters that are toe hang and you can't really tell. It's, it's more common in blade putters, these skinny fur putters that you see, that when you balance it flat, they hang kind of on its side. Um, I've always been a big face balance putter for the last, I guess, eight years now, eight or nine years, because I feel like I've always struggled maintaining a, a consistent putting stroke. And every time I had a toe hang putter, I had a very archy, kind of wind wipey sort of stroke. And the moment that I went to face balance, it just felt so clean and very straight back and straight through. And it was like the putter was guiding me. It felt very much like a pendulum. And both these putters very much feel that way. And that's why I like them both very much. All right, so now let's talk about the difference in um, mallet head size here. So believe it or not, I know it seems so much bigger, but they are actually the same size. So when I actually put the putters face to face, both of the faces are the same width apart and in terms of how wide it is or how how you know how fat it is essentially the fattest part of my er6 is just as wide as the fattest part of my agira putter obviously this one is you know there's a hole through it so that's i think the biggest difference and i think that also overall makes this putter lighter so now let's get to rolling some putts and talking about the sound and the feel. Here we go. So to me, based on just like the feel, again, this is my opinion and the, the things that I look for in a putter, I mean, hopefully it can help you figure out whether or not you like either putter, but for me, uh, I actually genuinely really like the feel of both the putters. I think the biggest difference is the sound, the feel off the face, and the weight. Again, my ER6 is significantly heavier than my Agira putter, uh, but I will say that when it comes to my Agira putter, it, even though they are the same depth in the face, um, both the ER6, and my Agira, it does feel that this is more like flush and easy to feel very flat to the ground, as opposed to my ER6, there are times I catch myself setting up and my my club face is not flat. I guess that's, that's a faulty thing on me and not the putter. Um, but then when I have this putter, I, I guess probably because it's more of a sandwich kind of shape, it's easier to know when it's flat to the ground, which is very, very important when you're setting up. It needs to be able to set to your eye nicely. Now with the Agira putter, these putters don't sleep on the cover putters. They have SICK technology, which I mentioned earlier, which is S-I-K. And SICK technology, what they do so nicely is that they, they have technology, whereas from bottom to top, it actually starts at one degree and it, and it um, tilts to four degrees from the very top. So one degree, two degree, three degree, four degree. That's why there are four, four lines that you see here. And this actually allows you to have a consistent roll every single time. The fact of the matter is that you're not going to deliver your club shaft lean the same every single time. And so whether or not you are putting with a scoop or you're hitting on the way up or you're hitting it on the way down,
down because of that loft technology. It allows you to have a consistent roll every single time. And that is currently why I keep this one in the bag at this moment, but I can see myself interchanging with the ER6 at any given moment. So when you look closely at the grooves on the even roll face compared to the Agira face, firstly, the grooves don't go end to end. But when you look really, really closely, the grooves in the center are wider than the grooves at the very end. So it basically is like this, pretend if, if my putter was really big, the center is this wide and as it goes to the edges, it very ever so slightly narrows out. And what that does is it creates zero dispersion is what they call it and an even roll. And it's supposed to help one, it was, the zero dispersion is supposed to allow, even when you miss hit your putt, you still are hitting, are, you are still hitting the sweet spot of the face. So even when you miss hit center, it'll still go in the direction that you want it to. And also because that it thins out like that, those grooves, it also helps you give you a more consistent roll. As I was talking about earlier in the Agira putter, how it starts at one degree and it fades to a four degree, this is called the descending loft technology. And th that is what sick putters use to help to help basically give you the right speed every single time. And this is technology that they've patented themselves. So that's a difference in technology. I think, I think both ways of their technology, it's just very, very impressive. And I think that whether you were to get an actual sick putter or you get a Cobra putter with sick technology, you can't go wrong. It is a little more sophisticated than other putters you may get off the rack. And same for the even roll. I mean, Garen Reif is literally, he's, he's a master designer. He is a master at his craft and you just can't go wrong. So that is a difference in technology. Um, I currently prefer the SICK technology at this moment. All right, now that we went through both different technologies, that was very long winded. I hope that that, uh, that makes sense to you guys. Now we're gonna go through the sound of the putt. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna first do some sound checks with the Agira putter right here. So have a listen. All right, one more time. Two in a row. So as you can hear with the Agira putter, it's a little more quiet. You don't quite get that tingy sound. I can't speak for all Odyssey putters, but every Odyssey putter that I've tried or one that I've had, I used to play the two ball putter. I, I feel like the sound is a little similar. It's a little more muted. Um, and I and to note, I am playing with Titleist golf balls right now. So if I had a Chrome Soft, it would be even softer of a sound. We're gonna do this one. Okay, now we have the ER6 in my hand. Let's see the sound check on this one. Just a little left there. All right. As you can hear, it's a little more tingy. You can feel more of like a metal hit and a more of a metal sound. Let's do a couple more. I'll hit it a little harder. Okay, so I'll go beyond the hole. There we go. See, the bigger the stroke, you can really hear that ting sound in there. There we go. There, more of that ting. There you go, that was solid. So when you hit it solid, you really hear that metally sound there. So now we're gonna test out some lag putts. So we're gonna, I'm showing you guys some lag putts, one for more sound, two to see, I mean, I'm gonna do my best to not manipulate the stroke, I mean, I'm not trying to, but to show you how far back I take each stroke to get it to the distance of this hole. I think because the ER6 is heavier, it does feel like there's a lot more mass in the head that I don't need to take as big of a stroke back. And if that's something that you guys like to feel, you want that heavier head, you want a more solid look, then the ER6 is probably the way to go for you. So let's give it a try. So now we're gonna give the lag putts a go so that you guys can see how far back I'm taking it, each putter. 
the Agira putter is a lot lighter, and so this is the one that I'm going to start with right now. one to two foot past the hole kind of result. We have one good putt, second putt. All right. So those first two putts are with the Agira. Now I'm gonna try the ER6. ER6, flag putts, here we go. One foot short. Try again. Well, that hit the hole, so I don't feel like that's fair. I came in hot. Let me try one more time. Here we go. crushing it now that like I know that I had a bigger stroke with the Agira. That one should be good. That one was perfect speed. My stroke definitely should have been a little shorter on that one. All right, so on that last stroke right there, that was just a little over a foot pass. I, I hit that one really well with my ER6, and I mean, I, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I'm pretty positive that my putting stroke was a lot shorter taken back uh, than my Agira. And I think whenever I have to play on very fast greens, which is like whenever I'm at celebrity events or pro-ams, those greens are really fast or tournament style. The ER6, in my opinion, is not the way to go. Having a heavy putter on really, really fast greens gets hard to control speed at times, um, especially for like the five and six footers or downhill putts gets really hard, which is probably why I, I really enjoy the Agira putter right now. And also for me right now, for some reason, the club face just really sets nice to my eye and I feel like it's really easy for me to line up. So in my opinion, at this very moment, the Agira wins. I would not be surprised if I go back and forth if I have a bad putting day because that's what people do. Um, but for the most part, that's, that's basically it. I think it really comes down to preference, but I wouldn't sleep on the Cobra putter since the technology is still sick technology and that's basically it that is my putter review for you guys i'd like to hear what putter you guys like what look you guys like um i forgot to mention too that the agira putter is pretty similar to the way the tailor-made spider looks and if you enjoy that putter you will surely enjoy this putter <laughs> All right, you guys, that's a wrap for my review on the new King Cobra Gira versus my ER6. And you know what? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Comment them below on which putter is your favorite. If you haven't tried either of these, I suggest giving them both a go. And besides that, that's it for now. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you don't miss a beat. Bye for now.